Welcome back. Over 10 weeks after being wrenched away from his home, the baboon known as Kataza will return to his troop in Komeki in the Western Cape. It comes after an animal rights activist took the city of Cape Town to court. 30,000 animal lovers signed a petition for Kataza to be removed from Tokai, where he'd been relocated. Nadine Theron brings us that story. The city of Cape Town initially said Kataza had to be relocated to Tokai because he was raiding bins in Komiki and splintering the Slankop troop. But Kataza never joined the bigger troop at his new location. He was ripped away from his family. Um, he was collar tagged and then after that relocated to Tokai, um, which relocation according to me is against the, the BGT's protocols. Rainer Engelbrecht brought a court application against Cape Town's baboon technical team and on Friday the city settled the case. In terms of the settlement, Kataza will be relocated back to Komiki as soon as reasonably possible. Before his relocation, any tags will be taken off him and um, he will be seen to by a vet to see that he doesn't need veterinary care. Kataza has been roaming the streets of Tokai for more than 70 days now, but by the end of the week, he should be making his way back home to Komiki. Sadly, he will not be able to reunite with his family in the Slankop troop, as his young were killed without his protection. Engelbrecht wants the current baboon protocol to be reviewed and has sought legal counsel. The biggest problem with baboon management in the Western Cape is waste management. That's the biggest problem. If there's no easy meal available in town or in the urban area, then baboons have got no reason to go into an urban area to raid. And it's something that the city of Cape Town needs to address urgently. Baboon-proof bins, for instance. Engelbrecht says it is unfair that baboons from conservation areas are being punished for the behavior of their human neighbors. Nadine Tehran, Cape Town.